Good morning, welcome to Johnson's Garden Time, Jeremy. It's uh, it's late March, and uh, you know it's. I guess every season is a little bit different in Kansas, and this certainly is no different. That it seems like things are progressing faster or blooming sooner than maybe what I remember in the past. We've had a, had a mild winter. Um, you know, the, the the things in the landscape are, are really coming to life, and we're in a, a flower bed here. Uh, tulips that we planted last fall that are that are starting to bloom maybe a couple weeks earlier than than some some years but usually around the first of april we're, we're seeing tulips we've got uh, probably three more weeks maybe a month actually when we can even still have some frost and people are going to ask what do i do with my my flowering tulips you know i just say leave them alone they're going to nature will take care of them and they'll be fine yeah. a couple hours ago this didn't look quite like it does right now i've there wasn't a lot of color here besides the tulips, but uh, there were a few weeds from last year, some leaves, basically, and uh, really cleaned it up within just a couple hours, pretty quick time. Got it cleaned up, and then and then you you went through and then planted a, a fresh crop, crop of pansies. And pansies are, a, you know, we, we plant them in the fall. We can also plant them in the spring for for some great color. Going to last if if we just leave them alone until about June, depending on the the year. But you know, going to be some great color that even if we do get down down kind of cold. Um, they're they're going to come through just fine. So great way to, to dress up a flower bed. Then you went on the top with the, the cotton seed holes that um, you know, are going to be a, a great, uh, it's one of my favorite mulches to use over um, a, a flower bed that, that has annual color in it. You know, this, um, and back to the pansies, these actually have had, they had uh, snow on them a couple weeks ago, some frost. They, they love these cold temperatures and yeah, they're, they'll be fine. But um, yeah, great spring color, like I said, next, next couple months. And like you refer to that mulch, I really, really like the cottonseed holes as well. Yep. Well, we've got uh, some containers also, which a lot of people have containers on their porches and patios wondering what to do. So let's go take a look at some okay. of those. Okay, Jeremy, we're at, uh, at a container here that actually a couple hours ago, this still had Christmas greens in it that we had over, over the holiday season. Now we're going to transform it into a, a spring uh, planter. Uh, like I mentioned, we've got a lot of things available that, that are going to be good for the, the cool weather. You've got a dianthus there. We've got some pansies. You know, going to take you about I don't know, 10 seconds here, and, and you're going to have a, a finished container. And then, then we want to make sure that, that after we get those planted, we're, we're watering. I like to use the, the um, fertile blooming and rooting, which is a high phosphorus plant food, really going to keep those, those flowers going strong uh, most of the season. Then we use the premium bedding plant food in the flower beds. Yep. So come by our stores. We've got a lot of color and a lot of products that you need to have great looking color all spring. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.